guys, welcome back to another informative and most requested video of all time. So, I'm gonna give you all as much information as possible uh, regarding the topic primers. So, before going into the video, I would like to ask everyone who is watching this video to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Okay, so what is primers? Uh, the primers uh, consist of different kinds of modules, like uh, for example, I got infrastructure related modules and some people got java related modules like that uh, everyone are getting uh, a set of modules which we need to um, clear it by watching the videos doing the hands on and after that uh, we are going to write an assessment a small assessment uh, which is of 20 marks for me personally uh, I got uh, primer modules before the date of joining which means um, we have done the primer modules from our home itself for a month after that uh, we have got this date of joining for few set of people uh, these primer modules um, are given after the date of joining like they have done this primer modules after the date of joining so uh, it totally depends upon the like business requirements or it totally depends upon the company's decision uh, for me i got uh, 11 modules set uh, the 11 module set consists of uh, RDBMS, um, Azure, Windows Server, um, Next, uh, Linux and some of them. Uh, I just can't remember all those 11 module names uh, but I will uh, surely give it in the description of what I got. Um, so these are the ones that I have got. Uh, after doing the primer modules, I had my date of joining. After completing the process of onboarding and after receiving my laptop, within like uh, four days, within four days, I have got a mail uh, saying that I am going to write a mock test, uh, which is related to the primer modules. Uh, frankly speaking, many are asking me of how to prepare for this uh, primers, how to crack the primers. Guys, there is no uh, shortcut route of how to prepare for this primers or how to crack this uh, primers assessment because I have done a lot more big mistake uh, of not rightly preparing for my primers assessment. Please, please kindly concentrate on the primers module. Uh, I don't know whether you will be getting 6 modules or 11 modules uh, or anything of that sort. Please don't uh, just play and uh, leave it. It is going to impact you all in the longer run uh, when you are writing your primers assessment. Okay, so I would like to address few questions that I am getting uh, like very frequently. Uh, I am from a non-IT background. Uh, can I really uh, crack this primers? Or can I really do the work? Uh, or can Guys, uh, I am from a BBA background. I have my technical uh, knowledge like because I was specialized in business analytics. Though uh, many people are from BCom, BSc, BBA, uh, BBA business analytics, uh, mechanical students. There are many, many candidates who are from non-IT background. So you people need not worry about anything of uh, not cracking your primers exam. You will definitely, if you are listening to the uh, every video of the primer module, you are going to crack the primers assessment. Uh, just take my word. Two tips that I can give you for the primers assessment is um, you will be having your pre-quiz, post-quiz and everything. Uh, during that point, please don't use any kind of uh, like PDFs or Google to just answer the questions and frankly, Many people know that we are going to use uh, the Google and PDFs uh, to answer those questions. So I would advise you, though it's uh, taking you time or though it's uh, very difficult for you to clear the percentage uh, to go to the next level, uh, please try to answer it on your own so that it wouldn't be a burden for you when you're writing your assessment. That is what I have done. Uh, I have clearly uh, done that and that is why uh, I suffered a lot during my primers assessment and we have prepared like I and my friends and everyone we have prepared a set of questions uh, for our primers assessment and we got a whole other set of primer questions uh, I am telling you all please don't skip the videos um, please don't uh, just play it and do your works and don't do such kind of things. If you are sincerely listening to that, 
to, the, uh, to those videos, it won't be hard to crack. Please don't get tensed about uh, this trimester. And the other question that I'm getting uh, more frequently is, what happens if we fail in the primers assessment? Guys, I'm telling you all now, and this is the only main reason that why I haven't done this primers video up until now. Because I feel that I'm not the right person for y'all to give y'all uh, the advice uh, of how to crack it or how to learn it. But I'm just telling my mistakes uh, openly to y'all so that you all won't be doing this uh, mistakes in the near future when many of us have failed in the primers assessment, including me. When I said this to my mom and my dad, they were shocked to the core. Primus assessment uh, is just the beginning step for y'all. It's just your first stage of uh, moving forward. Just take it like that. If you're qualifying the percentage in the primus exam, well and good. You're getting 10,000 rupees. But if you're not qualifying in the primus assessment like me, please don't worry. There's nothing. There's nothing that is going to happen. Okay. Uh, if you have scored very less marks or if you have failed in your primers exam, please don't worry. And if you have failed in your primers exam, uh, please make sure that you are scoring enough marks in your stream MCQs. Uh, please cover them. Uh, please cover all the marks uh, which you have uh, lost in your primers assessment. Uh, you need to score 12 marks out of 20. You need to score 12 marks out of 20. Uh, it is when you are in the safer side. Uh, if you are scoring less than 12 marks, you are not on the safer side. You need to cover all the remaining marks in your next MCQs which is in the stream train. Uh, it's just that and no more impact is going to happen. Just cover it in your stream training and your stream MCQs. Uh, after this primus exam, within, uh, within just one week or so, you will be getting your um, stream preferences. For me personally, I did uh, like for our batch, at least for our batch, we didn't uh, get any kind of uh, preference mail, but we directly got the assigned mail uh, for the stream. Uh, my stream is workplace. Uh, if anyone um, got this stream, please don't, uh, don't be hesitant to just ping me and uh, ask me for any kind of doubts. Uh, and not only that, if you have any kind of doubts, please directly message me on my Instagram um, asking the doubt guys please don't waste your time by uh, keeping messages like hi hello and spamming the inbox just uh, just a hi and your doubts that's it it is when that I can accept your message request and uh, I can clarify your doubts because many people will be there uh, wasting their uh, their time and my time too so please kindly this is a request please kindly ask your doubts immediately and I am going to help you so that's it uh, I think I have covered all the points you will be having 30 days to do your primer modules your assessment will be in 3 to 4 days of duration you will be having your 2 mock tests before the actual assessment and how to crack the primers assessment is what I have already told you please kindly listen to each and every video uh, for your preparation of the assessment uh, refer to all the pre and the post quiz of every module that's it um, nothing more if you're having any more doubts please kindly drop a comment uh, under this video or any other video and not only that you can uh, just ping me uh, on my instagram handle uh, i'll get back to you uh, guys uh, i have got a project so it's a little hectic for me to have my stream training my project kt and uh, to do videos and everything so please be direct while, um, while asking your doubts. Uh, please don't waste your time by hi, hello, are you there? And those kind of messages. Um, I'll surely revert back to you. I'll surely reply to you. Uh, I think you'll be having a happy learning. And I really hope that you all crack the primers and back the 10,000 rupees. Um, uh, and one more thing, uh, for you all to get the 10,000 uh, it is not the 12 marks benchmark. You need to get some 14 to 15, 15 marks I think. Uh, just um, confirm it with your uh, point of contact POC2 about this so that uh, they will inform you. of. And that's it for this video. If you think that this video is going to help you, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and help me grow as a family. Thank you.